Hey, Harrison, I know there are no moral victories here, but uh, after playing last night and just the way that this season has gone, just you guys really gave it a huge effort down the stretch there. Uh, just how proud are you of that core group of guys that are, are fighting it out uh, shorthanded? You know, I, I think there's a belief in this locker room of what we can be. And while, you know, we're, we're making some progress or we're making some strides, we know we're, you know, we're not right now. And, you know, we don't really take any, any moral victories. You know, obviously wanted to win tonight and it was unfortunate that we didn't, you know, some, some calls in Garway, some shots in Garway. Um, Defensively, we, we didn't get a few stops, but all in all, um, I think we're, we're motivated to get healthy over the break, um, recover, and, you know, come back and, and finish the rest of this season out strong. Sean Cunningham. Harrison, you obviously know what Damian Lillard is capable of. How just – how difficult is it or demoralizing is it when you see him have a kind of a performance like that? Obviously, he was huge in the fourth quarter and just kind of what he's known for. Yeah, I mean, no, Dame's a great player. Um, you know, obviously had it, had it going there. Um, you know, it was, it's try to throw a bunch of different coverages at him. Um, you know, can't touch him with the way the whistle was going tonight. But, you know, I think, you know, for us, you know, just trying to make the rest of the team uh, take some things away there. Obviously, you know, Dame's going to score. But, you know, how can we limit the counter offensive rebounds or the kick out wide open threes that they were getting? Tony Harvey. You know, Harrison, I, I have to ask you about your teammate, uh, De'Aaron Fox. Um, you know, he, he he is the glue. No, you guys didn't come up with the victory, but, yes, he is an all-star caliber player. Can you just comment on his play and what he's been doing, you know, this portion of the season? Yeah, no, I mean, Fox has been – he's been great for us um, this season. I mean, I think if we didn't have that stretch of games or we had that losing streak, you know, he would, he'd be playing this weekend. So um, I think from a, from an individual perspective, I know it's disappointing, but from a team perspective, you know, I think that speaks to, you know, what, what could have been, where we could have been at um, coming into this break, how we could have been feeling. And like I said, I think it's, it's motivation for all of us to come back and be better in this second half. Let's not leave any chips on the table. Let's not leave any what ifs um, in the second half of the season. Jason Anderson. Hey, HB, um, I'll echo the sentiment about the effort, man. I know this has been rough um, lately, uh, but, you know, when you see <clears throat> the free throw numbers, some of the turnovers failing to get a shot off at the end of the first half, is that how do you guys how do you guys um, discuss those things? How are the, how, how is stuff like that addressed behind the scenes? I mean, some of the things we just have to be better at. Some of the things just can't happen, right? Like at the end of, uh, at the, end of the half, we got to get a shot off. Um, in terms of free throws, we have to continue to attack the rim. Obviously, they played small tonight, and when we get up there, we got to take our time. We got to make free throws. I mean, those are extra possessions. You know, when we look at over the course of the game, you know, two, three point game, you know, how many free throws are we leaving at the line there? So those are things that we have to get better at. And then when we're locked in, we, we do a good job. Jason Jones. Jason, I can't hear you. We can't hear you, Jason. I don't know if your mic is off. It shows that you're you're up, but we just can't hear you. Yeah, I'll come back to you. Uh, Sean Cunningham. Harris, I was um, just following up on Fox there a little bit. Uh, I mean, on Dame, obviously, what he does in the fourth. But uh, obviously, Fox has been coming up big in the fourth for you guys all season in terms of points scored. And um, I think tonight was – his third time having over 17 points or more in the, in the fourth, just do you see some of those qualities that, that Dame has in, in him so young in his career? Yeah. I mean, I think, you know, obviously what, what, what? we heard you Jay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna mute you for a second. Go ahead. HB. Uh, Mike is, Mike is working. Mike is working. Um, Sorry, sorry. I, I, yeah, no I, problem. I, it was it was just. Do you see some of those similarities that Dame has in Fox so young in his career? Yeah, you know, I think that um, you know it's it's a great attribute, you know, to be a, a clutch a clutch player, a clutch scorer, and you know, Fox has definitely grown in that regard in terms of his confidence, in terms of his ability to uh, control games late throughout the course of the season. He's been doing obviously tonight was a great example, 
And, you know, that's what, that's what Dame is known for. So, you know, for, for him to kind of rise to, rise to the challenge in this game, I thought it was impressive. All right, Jay Jones. Okay, we good now, Harrison? We're all good. All good. Okay. Yeah, just I was uh, I was saying just not just this game, but over the course of this, this these first what thirty plus games, how much can you do? Will you think you guys reflect on just some of the little things? You, know, you mentioned getting the shot off or just late game execution. It's like you know late in this game, you guys just couldn't get the looks you were getting. You know the first you know forty plus minutes. Just how do you reflect on the things you got to do going forward to tighten up those details? It's, it's not getting complacent. You know, in the first three quarters of any game, you know, there's some things you can get away with. Maybe not getting to the corner, maybe you know, not fully setting the screen. Maybe you were supposed to clear out on a play and you didn't clear out, whatever it may be. And sometimes you can get away with it and you get a, you get a score and you think, okay, you know, this will be fine. But, you know, late game, you know, when things are really starting to, everyone's really locked in, you know, defense is really keen into plays and sets that we've been going to. And, you know, they know what they're giving up and they know what they're trying to take away. We just have to be sharper at that. And like I said, time at times we've done it this year, but consistently we have to be better um, in those moments. All right, Marshall Harris. Hey, Harrison, <clears throat> just wanted to ask you about uh, the next week uh, that you have off and what kind of a reset will you do individually? How do you plan on spending the time and, and how much maybe is this break needed more compared to previous seasons and, and where there are more traditional seasons? Well, thanks to the protocol, we'll be testing every day. So, you know, that, that, is, a, that is a constant. But besides that, um, you know, just trying to take some time to, to relax a little bit, um, you know, see what we can do better. You know, like I said, we're, we're a little bit banged up as a team. So, you know, taking you know, these days to kind of, you know, take care of those things and, and really try to come back, you know, feeling as good as we can.